Vivian Reed is a multi-talented entertainer, entrepreneur, artist, photographer. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but on May 20th. May 20th at 9.30. At 9.30 at night. PM. Mm -hmm. She's going to be at 54 Below. 54 Below, 254 West 54th Street. And uh, it's in the cellar. It's where 54, um, Studio 54 used to be. And for those who have a difficult um, going downstairs, who have a difficulty going downstairs, there is an elevator. You, yeah. you made my work easy. Thank Fair. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you've had such a wonderful career, both here in the United States and in Europe. Yes. And so you were in Bubbling Brown Sugar. Bubbling Brown Sugar. And uh, which was nominated for how many Tonys? Um, well, I received a Tony for Best Actress in a Musical, and then the uh, musical itself was nominated for a Tony, and then we won the Grammy for Best Musical for that year. So, yeah. And I think there was one for costumes as well, three. So, and from there you've parlayed a wonderful career as a singer, as an actress? Yes and started studying um, dance. Well, I had started like maybe a year before I did Bubbling Brown Sugar, and then after that when they were starting up another company in Europe, in Paris, that's um, when I moved to Paris, that's when I really started studying very seriously as a dancer, but not as a singer, but as a dancer. Now when you, you know, you hear these wonderful things about Americans in Europe, mm -hmm. and I know that when you were there, you were basically doing concerts. I was doing concerts. I was doing also a lot of television. I did my own TV special, which um, Pierre Cardin sponsored, and um, also a lot of um, fashion, things for fashion. So I was doing a lot of things, and then I went to Japan, which um, Pierre Cardin made that possible because he had a new line of clothing coming out, and so he took me to be the guest artist. And my band came over from New York. It was great. But you had, you built, you had, you had a very important relationship with Yes, I did. Um, when we opened up with Bubbling Brown Sugar, different company from the Broadway company and the touring company, he was in the audience there and um, very, f uh, God, what a fabulous premiere. I mean, back then, that's when they wore gowns and the whole thing. So it was wonderful. And he was in the audience and he came backstage and said, through his um, interpreter, I would like for you to come to my theater. And so it took a year to work out everything, all the details, but I went over with my band and two dancers and we stayed in his theater for three weeks. And then I think it was like maybe uh, a year later I ended up moving over there. I still maintained my place here, but I lived in Europe for seven years. Now what was that like? I mean, basically you were based out of Paris. Based out of Paris. Um, it was great because uh, there was a lot of work. Um, the dancers were working a lot. There was a lot of television. Uh, the clubs were all over the place, just strong nightlife. So Paris is a lot, or it was back then, a lot like New York. So I wasn't um, homesick, but I didn't like being that far away from my parents necessarily for such a long period of time. So I would go home maybe once or twice a year, um, check on my apartment, and then go to see them in Pittsburgh. But it was wonderful, wonderful opportunities. And the opening over there with Bubbling Brown Sugar was not unlike the opening here. There was the coverage, the press, and I was just doing things every day. It was, it's been a blessing, really. Now let's talk about your show at 54 Below. 54 Below. <laughs> it's called An Evening with Vivian Reed. And, um, it basically is to say that I am back and what do I mean by that is that I had taken myself out of the business so that I could look after my mom because my father had passed away in um, I think uh, 1990 and uh, my brother moved in to help take care of her when she got older. So she had always been there for me, my father as well. and. Um, when she got older, I just wanted to spend more time with her. So I wanted to be able to go home every three or four weeks, spend a month or so. And you can't necessarily, it wouldn't be right to take a show and then all of a sudden you tell them, well, I'm not doing a show tomorrow or next week because I'm going home to see my mom. Right. So I decided just to remove myself from the business for a while. 
so she passed away and passed away in my arms I might add and it was really a beautiful passing and then I just got back to doing what God had given me singing and performing and that's what this show is all about and we sold out the first two shows, November the 11th and March 31st, and so they asked me to come back. This is an encore. More. This is an encore of that performance, and the show encompasses um, a variety of material, R&B, jazz, blues, a bit of classical, definitely my theater, and uh, I'm just loving it, absolutely loving it. Can't wait for the 20th to come. <laughs> So for all those out there who haven't already bought your tickets, uh, the show yeah. has been sold, was sold out prior. Yes, and we're probably approaching that um, very soon. Yes. So they need to, but if, if for some reason they miss the 20th. If they miss the 20th, then there's one last performance which is on the 19th of June at 9.30, and that's on a Thursday. The 20th of May is on a Tuesday, the 19th of June is on a Thursday. Okay. Now, when people come to see the show, what exactly can they look forward to seeing? Well, being that my career has been quite eclectic with records and concerts and nightclubs and theater, and even classical because I was born a classical singer, and uh, they can expect a little bit of all of that. It's, the show is extremely eclectic, but it's put together, it's structured very well. So they'll get R&B. You know, they'll get hardcore R&B, which starts it, then it goes into jazz, blues, then uh, into a little bit of classical, and I have special guests, very, very special guests, um, Fred Barton, um, uh, Bertilla Baker, Janita Burnett, who uh, was the first uh, African American to do Me Me in La Boheme on Broadway, Anastasia Barzi, and Luba Mason, and then I have a kick-ass band. Yes! Yeah, I'll have to have that. <laughs> now, the two other thing I want to talk about, you know, I saw your photography. I was very impressed. Thank you. And so I know you're, you're a wonderful photographer. You have a great eye. Thank and, you. And, but then what I really was impressed with is your scarves. Yeah. They're beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, this is one of them. <laughs> but I do painted scarves, and I, I sew and put together very long, long scarves. And I had it, I, the reason why I started the scarves uh, it's because, number one, I wear them all the time and have been for years, but a lot of taller people don't necessarily have on in the marketplace scarves that really can come all the way down like the way we like to wear them, especially if we're dressed up and we're going out. So I have scarves for everyone, for shorter people, taller people. I do painted scarves. But my gift came by way of my mom because my mother was an extremely talented seamstress. And so she taught me to sew, and I've been sewing since a little girl, and I love it, absolutely love it. So we'll list, a, well, you might as well tell them if they're interested in the scarves. Oh, and the scarves? Okay, you go to Etsy, that's E-T-S-Y. So it, the name of my scarf line is VJR, which are my initials, Vivian Jean Reed, VJR Scarves, uh, dot Etsy, dot com. Okay. And if you forget that, just type in Vivian Reed scarves and it'll come up. Google will bring it up. <laughs> Very good. So, so I want to thank you again because this has been a real treat to talk to you prior to this, uh, your encore performance. Yes. And we look forward to seeing you on the 20th and then again. And then again on the 19th if uh, tickets happen to sell out before the 20th, which is on a Tuesday this month, um, they can also get them for June 19th, which is on a Thursday. Thank you again. Oh, you're absolutely welcome. See y'all. <laughs>